Berkeley and Jerusalem. And on Sunday, I'm flying to Madrid, where we're going to be creating a design localities which connects between Jerusalem and Madrid with artists from Germany, Spain, and Israel. Um, over there, chair number four with the black curly hair is Alec Futterman. He is the VJ and video artist whose images, uh, all these overlays of Jerusalem and different places he created, and he is uh, our master video. And uh, so it was very important for me that uh, he's here. Uh, the Zombie Localities, the intention behind and the basic premise of the Zombie Localities is to create multicultural dialogue in art, which is not a metaphor, it is not representational, it is not what will happen if, it really is what is happening. So I'm going to be showing you a little bit later videos um, of the project so you can see how this sort of thing happens. And also, um, I work with a program called Abbot of Life, and I'll show you a little bit about how this mixing process uh, takes place uh, when we present the project. Um, right now, uh, I think that would be great maybe because I don't want to overburden you with uh, words. Maybe I'll show you uh, one of the videos for the live uh, project of the, uh, the piece. Just one second. So this is a video that we created from uh, the first performance we did here in the Jerusalem City of Russia. In the park. This took place last June uh, here in Jerusalem. We are just in France, Germany, and Israel. Show the video and show the design of the So this was a video of the Dissolving Localities project. Um, we presented the project for the first time uh, with the support and uh, a lot of help from the Jerusalem Season of Culture in both 2010 and 2011. And now the project has become uh, more of an independent project. Um, and now we also created a sort of an extension of the project where we focus on religion, um, uh, the religious segment of the project where uh, we go, uh, we take a Jewish, Christian, and Muslim prayers and create an audiovisual collage of them so to try to create basically three voices talking about one thing and speaking towards one goal, which is, for me, understanding, or the hope of understanding. The project is called the Hungry Inspector.
who recorded um, throughout different mosques, like the Al-Aqsa Mosque, different other places. Uh, most of the prayers are taken from the secular church, the Dormition Abbey, and other churches around Jerusalem. And basically, what we try to do is to have these masses of prayers and voices and people uh, join together and in a situation where we you see this uh, Orthodox Jew, he's actually praying from the wailing wall. But what we try to do is take away the wailing wall and leave the essence of what the prayer is supposed to be. So it doesn't matter where you're praying, it doesn't matter to what you're praying. Your prayer is actually an act of communication. And it's an act in which you're trying to reach a place which is beyond where you are. And there's constant dialogue in Jerusalem about Jerusalem of the heavens and Jerusalem of the earth. And what we're trying to do is represent this dialogue by taking away the earth so that the people are actually standing as if they're standing on the sky and they're all walking in the sky. So we're basically trying to take the place and trying to focus on the what. And so that's hybrid spectrums and what we're trying to do. All the sounds that you were hearing are basically prayers and bells that we were working with electronic music processes to create a musical work out of them. Well, the video is based on recordings of people praying and basically taking away the where and putting them in, in a different context altogether. And this is a lot also about how dissolving localities works, which is basically to say that uh, daily life, uh, our daily life, is the most important thing. It's something that we sometimes don't pay enough attention to. The fact that we can communicate with one another, and the fact that we live in a complex place. Every life is complicated. It doesn't matter if you're in Jerusalem, it doesn't matter if you're in Israel, it doesn't matter where you live. Your life is, could be a complex one. But the idea of actually trying to create a communication process in the arts, based on that, was for me a sort of a revelation process. And it's a very, very interesting project to work on. Um, so now I thought that maybe I'll uh, demonstrate for you a little bit about how we actually uh, construct the process in an audio way. We tried to do this video, but uh, due to technical problems we couldn't do that. But I'll show you a little bit about how uh, we do this um, uh, on, the, on the audio level. And um, yeah, that's it. And, uh, once again, I have to stress that uh, this project would not exist if it weren't for the Jerusalem Season of Culture. So it's a very, very big uh, thank you to the Jerusalem Season of Culture, to Itai, and there's been a lot of support from the Foundation for the Jerusalem Season of Culture for this project, and I think that uh, it, there's a close fit between uh, the Jerusalem Season of Culture and the localities. So thank you, Itai. I'll just show you for a second part.
but the basic sounds and the elements that are, that are composed this are all taken from the daily life of being in Jerusalem or being in different uh, uh, places around the world. And so, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for hearing me out, and thank you, Itai, for inviting me.